This is the Atacama Desert, the driest and most barren in the world. Except right now. For the first time in five years, it's rained. And so, like Sleeping Beauty, these flowers are awakening. And they are starting to bloom. A phenomena that attracts tourists from all over Chile and the world. It's unpredictable. In the last 40 years, there have been 13 events. Superblooms exist in a few other deserts, like in Southern California. But unlike the Atacama, those deserts are inhabited and already have vegetation. The seeds that produce these flowers and plants can lay dormant for a decade or more. The arid climate and the cold temperatures at night keep them from rotting. But what's also extraordinary is that for just a very few short months, a mini ecosystem emerges in this normally inhospitable terrain. First, the plants and the flowers attract the insects. They're followed by birds, and then mammals, and even bigger mammals. Nature lover Alexis Cornejo is familiar with these plants. This plant is called Cherky, and its green leaves emerge when it rains. And its leaves are edible, they taste good, even though they're a bit sour. The guanacos eat them because they obtain water from their leaves. There's no water here, as you know. NASA scientists often use the Atacama Desert's rocky terrain to simulate planet Mars. But extreme weather patterns are taking their toll. This winter it actually snowed in the arid Elqui Valley, not so far south from here. While further north in the Atacama there were mudslides. It's spring now in South America. But this desert bloom is emerging much more slowly than in the past, because rain is becoming more and more irregular, leading many to wonder if all this is destined to disappear as another casualty of climate change. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Copiapó, Chile.